Upon the launch of Diablo 2 Resurrected's first ladder season, rune words were acting pretty weird. Many players reported making very expensive rune words, such as Infinity in the newly allowed spear bases, and, uh, well, let's just say they didn't become Infinities. Sort of brings back flashbacks to the PTR. <laughs> While they actually did have the right runes in them, unlike in that clip, they basically had the same effect as what you saw there. In light of this, Blizzard released a quick fix patch, which allowed players who just wasted two bear runes in, in their spears to breathe a sigh of relief. The patch retroactively recognized these failed rune words as correctly made items. While this was an expected and intended thing on ladder, it came with a potentially unintended consequence on non-ladder. Because of this hot fix and through some juck fuckery online, you can actually create ladder only rune words on non-ladder. You better get your shit together because as, as soon as Blizzard sees this video, there's no telling how long that'll last. But here's how to do it. First, gather all the necessary runes in your desired base item on non-ladder. Make sure that you know the correct order of the runes and place them into that base item. You will immediately see a gemmed item, much like in this example. Even though you've put the runes in there correctly, it will not register that this is a rune word because it's supposed to be ladder only. But thanks to this hot fix, there is a line of code in the game that when you fire up ladder, it just fixes all this shit. So what you'll wanna do is put this gemmed base item in your shared stash. From there, what you'll wanna do is log out of the character, go back to your character select screen and either create or join a game with your ladder character. Once you do, you can jump in the game, you can MF, you can do whatever you want, or you could just quickly save and exit. Once you've done this and saved and exited your game, wait a few seconds, go back into the character select screen and go back into your non-ladder character. Go check that shared stash and voila, enjoy your ladder only rune word on non ladder. This is likely because the same line of code that was used to fix all of the ladder only rune words that didn't work also just kind of launches it to your entire account when you join a ladder game. So that's probably why even your non ladder characters get this sort of fix to rune words that are supposed to be rune words, but somehow aren't. Like I said, enjoy that one while it lasts. Let's move on to a more controversial topic, shall we? How about botting? A YouTube user by the name of Dwarf Lord released a video recently talking about evidence of botters crashing the ladder economy in Diablo 2 Resurrected. But is he right and are botters at the bottom of this thing or is there some other devious shit going on? In this segment, I'm gonna give the Cooley College Bass as to what I think might actually be happening. Let's let's take a look at some of this, shall we? I've I've seen a lot of evidence of what looks like botting. You know, I've seen people buying 80 Reaper's tolls. They make a post saying buying 80 Reaper's tolls. Who needs 80 Reaper's tolls? I don't even need one Reaper's toll. Believe it or not, like there's actually a couple of reasons why this could happen, right? Like there's there's actually two big ones. And the first one is people actually do ridiculous shit on JSB to hide the fact that they're trying to sell their forum gold. Sometimes people try to buy or sell forum gold on JSP, which is against the rules. If the site finds out that you're doing this, they'll actually ban you and they'll take all of your forum gold in a semi ironic fashion. He could actually just have multiple buyers of his forum gold, trying to piece it out and sell it. Regardless of whether or not this dude actually did that, I'm saying that that is a, a common thing for people to do who are selling their forum gold for actual cash. Here's this other guy who you you made your account a couple days ago. You have more forum gold than I do, and I've been here for, for almost 20 years. And um, so this is like a multi or something, I'm assuming. So. It's definitely a multi. This is definitely a multi. And this guy is definitely up to some devious shit right here because he does have a new account and he has 90,000 forum gold. And if you actually look at this, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but in on this video right here, he's got like, and this is like, I don't know, probably uh, about a week into ladder. He's got like 11 bear runes, six jaws. This guy could be very good at trading or there could actually be a couple of good reasons for this too. You have 11 burr and six jaw. Now this is May 6th. So let's let's compare. On May 6th, which is three days ago, jaws for 23.50. And 
now they're like a thousand. Yeah, th this is true. This is true. Uh, you know, uh, I actually think something else is going on here. Now, I'm not saying in any way that there are not bots on Battle.net right now. In fact, I have actually seen a few. We could probably go look. Like, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna look this up really quick. Like, look at this. This was six months ago. This was, this was uh, six months ago. Someone had built this thing called Pixelobot and it was very rudimentary. This is a bot playing the game right now. If anybody is familiar with like Colbot back in the day for LOD, this thing pales in comparison to how absolutely savage that bot was. Just the way that D2R is set up, I don't think bots have the capability of being as good at playing the game as Colbot was. You can see right here, like look at this den. It just keeps spinning hammers even though all of the enemies are dead. It actually just doesn't know. It does periodic checks as to whether or not there are still moving pixels. Uh, you know, you can see it very slowly and methodically moving through the map. This isn't the type of bot right here that people are gonna jam you know, 40 copies of and actually find that many bear runes or that many jaw runes so quickly in a ladder reset. Now, again, this was six months ago that someone's setting up this Pixelo bot. So either bots could have got better in this time, but if they did, they would have to use a lot of packet manipulation and people don't give Blizzard enough credit for nipping that shit in the bud as soon as they see it. There has been multiple ban waves, some of which people have even gone to the Better Business Bureau for because they're so tilted that they got banned for using like these third party programs and shit. Blizzard is actually on top of this, much to the dismay of some hackers and some botters out there. Like there are bots out there and this stuff does exist. But I will say he does have a great point about the value of jaw and bear runes over this latter season. I found a jaw rune like week one, right? And I was like, okay, man, this thing's worth like 3K forum gold. I'm just going to wait till the weekend because I played, I played D2R launch and I know that everybody plays on the weekend and the price of this is going to go up. Well, much to my dismay, the price of the jaw rune actually went down by more than 50% by the time the weekend was over, which is completely counterintuitive. And some people might say like, oh, well, there's, there's, less, there's less people playing now than there was at launch, which is true, but it's probably about half the amount of people. And that's just judging by the number of active users at any given time on JSP. May suggest that something else is going on. So when the game launched, it was very typical that on weekends, you could see the price of jaws and bear runes it, it would look like the nasdaq index when all of the retail traders got into it it was just up and down all over the place that was the price of jaws and bear runes but in this particular weekend they dropped significantly i actually want to bring something up in particular that sort of illustrates the point I went on JSP here and found uh, this user right here, and I'm not in any way saying that this guy is responsible for doing any of this. Sometimes people either have suppliers that they either know are doing these things or don't know are doing these things. But let me point out a pattern here that I see with this particular user, which I've seen with some other, other items too. So you can see, I'm gonna zoom in to what this guy has for sale, right? Like, look at, look at some this weird shit that's going on. And the people who have watched my videos on the history of duping and the history of glitches might actually know exactly why he's doing things this way. People on JSP don't want to sell duped items that will poof. And we do know from beta testing that items will poof when they're duped. Yeah, we, we figured that out uh when when all of the servers were crashing we we definitely duped a cold grand charm or two items do poof and do have these similar unique item ids that they did back in lod so if someone is gonna sell an item on jsp they don't want the buyer coming back and accusing them of scamming because the item poofed these things definitely happen and they can hurt the reputation of any of these sellers he has sold over the course of what two days just over the course of two days look at how many perfect unmade enigma mage plates this guy has sold we've got one here all of these things are actually being like closed out in the actual trade like look at this one sold on a different occasion this one right here sold yeah here's another random one sold he's opened up a lot of trade channels here with oddly similar items right and unmade 
perfect 15-0 three open sock and Enigma Mage Plate. Now I can tell you, and people who have played the game at launch and know how rare these things are, it's extremely rare for one person to acquire these things so much, right? You might also remember from the history of duping that base items don't have a unique item ID. So you can actually dupe them and they will not poof. So there's a reason I think this guy has not made these into Enigmas before he sells them or the person who is supplying him or however he's getting these, there's a reason these aren't being made into an Enigma. When an item is made into a rune word, it suddenly does get a unique item ID and will poof if it's duped. However, because you could dupe Sir runes and Bear runes and up them respectively into Bear runes and Jaw runes, I suspect that there may actually be a dupe method on Battle.net. Like I said, I think Blizzard is actually pretty good at stomping out the botters and even people that are using weird third-party programs. One thing that they might not be able to so easily thwart is people who are abusing mechanics of the game that were not intended to duplicate items. Are they doing it with third-party programs? Who knows? They could, much like we saw with these ladder-only rune words being able to be made in non-ladder, there may be manipulations of the game that can be used to duplicate items. It's really hard to tell and impossible to speculate on what could be being used to do this. But in my own Cooley College best approach, I do believe there might actually be a dupe method on Battle.net. I actually had to dive in and figure out how to make these non-ladder rune words or these ladder only rune words on non-ladder myself, along with the help of Shirley Sirius. Really, it was more Shirley Sirius that figured it out and just told me. But either way, I think if this is some sort of legitimate glitch that people are using to duplicate items, some people in the community will discover it.